the Mercedes 280 SL needs no introduction, but for those who aren't aware, this little two-seater sports car was in production from the end of 1967 up until 71, with just over 20,000 units sold worldwide. Besides me, however, is quite possibly the most beautifully restored 280 SL I will probably ever get to see. Brabus have been restoring classic cars for the best part of three decades, 30 years, to what they now call their six-star restoration. This car is as close to as brand new you will ever see. Come and check this out. So what is a six-star restoration? Well, to put it simply, it is a complete overhaul. And what I mean by complete overhaul, as I crouch down, is complete dismantle of the car. Okay, so we're gonna start with a chassis, bare chassis, restored, refinished, coated in anti-corrosion chemicals, protected very much like a modern day car. The bodywork, handcrafted. Now there has been over two and a half thousand hours put into this build, the majority of which goes into perfecting that bodywork. The paint alone, when I say this is the most beautiful paint job I have ever seen, please, please take that seriously. It is one of the most astonishing finishes I have ever seen. To couple with that, come and look at this chrome. This front end here, all of this completely handcrafted, hand finished. The team and I all agree, it is by far the cleanest. For example, the way these are finished, how flush and how neat the build is. It's just beautiful. As you come down, the hubcaps, I'm gonna go as far as saying they look nicer than when they did when they rolled off the production line. The quality and how clean and crisp they are, beautiful. As we work our way along the car, all the little accessories, the window frames, the glass itself, completely new. So complete new glass, windows, doors, the hard top itself, the little side windows, all refinished. The glass in the dashboard refinished, headlamps, tail lamps, every nut and bolt that you can think of has been changed, either fully refurbished or replaced with a new straight swap. Now, as we come around the rear, we're just gonna finish it off again with some of the cleanest, cleanest chrome you're ever gonna see. This badge, for example, the way it's handmade, crafted, this actually bends over the bonnet. I'm not sure if you can catch it on camera, but the way that's finished is unbelievable. Tail lamps, the rubber seals, everything has been completely restored. Now, the exterior is beautiful. You need to come and look inside. There's three roof variants. That's right, there's three roof variants to the 280 SL. You get a color-coded hard top. Brilliant for either a harsh summer or a harsh winter where you're not really gonna be having that roof down. Take the roof off. Underneath here, you have a beautifully handcrafted fabric fold roof. So insert shots, so a slightly soft top roof. And then, of course, no roof at all. I mean, look at it. Just look at the proportions of the car. When Mercedes were designing this, I bet they had no idea how beautiful it would look. Inside, the restoration, or dare I say complete rebuild, doesn't stop. All hand-stitched, all the fabrics are completely brand new. The seats, so these are using the same frames as the original but with today's padding, memory foams, fabrics, it smells like a brand new Mercedes, which for a car that is considerably older than I, is nothing else like it, but I need to sit in that seat and tell you a little bit more. Just picture it, just driving. It's, you don't get this feeling, this, this, this vibe from any other car. It's only classic cars that bring this to you. And if you go in to do it in a classic car, 
why wouldn't you want to do it in something as beautifully prepared and built like this? Now, let's show these guys the engine because the engine is something you need to see. The M130 engine was the creme de la creme um, of engines in the SL range. The 280SL had the best engine of the time. Uh, straight six, beautifully crafted. I mean, the horsepower wasn't up to today's scratch, but that wasn't the point of this car. It's the way this one has been particularly built by Brabus. Like my OCD is in heaven right now. All the nuts and bolts, all horizontal, horizontal, straight, clean as you like. And they just don't make it like this anymore. They really, really don't. Of course, we weren't gonna be doing a review without listening to her, so. With an old fashioned key, how it should be. Ignition on. So, in addition to the car, you get to know about the story of the car, right? And what I mean by that is, so in the trunk of the car, in each one that you get, as I correctly open that up, I mean, before I dive in, look at that. It's a brand new car. You get a little box, and within this little box is the story of your car. So you actually get, I call it the Bible, but it's probably not his correct term. What you get is a Brabus handbook. Now within this Brabus handbook, I'm sure my guys will overlay some shots, but you get the full story of your SL. So you can see it in its complete chassis form, how they stripped it out, sandblasted the car with it all primed. And then if I just fast forward some time, you have the finished article and it literally goes step by step, roof up, roof down, all the little details. So you can imagine this almost like a little like family photo album capturing the memories of this car's journey. And that kind of nicely ties me into the outro for this car. I've been rattling how I'm gonna close off this car, right? But I think capturing memories is the best way for it. Now, I'm a big fan of the Disney Pixar film cars. They're cars that are animated and they tell stories. The older generation cars tell stories of love, excitement, adventures. Imagine the stories this car would have if it could speak. Now imagine the stories you're gonna create that you can pass on for generations to come. This is essentially a brand new car with a two year, that's right, a two year legitimate warranty on something that was originally created in the 60s. There's just nothing that's like it really. And the fact Knightsbridge have one for sale. I'm gonna pull up a chair and I'm just gonna sit a little bit longer staring at it, but for now, Thanks for watching.